Hello friends, welcome to part 13 of Laravel 12 multi vendor e commerce series. In this part, we will start working on updating the admin details. So, we are going to update the admin name as well as the mobile number. And in the next part, we are going to update the admin photo as well with intervention packet that we are going to install. So, let's start. So, let's take the below steps in which we are going to update the name as well as the mobile of the admin. And this is the table for the admin. You can see that we are going to update the mobile as well as the uh, name of the admin. Okay. So, here we are going to create the page for updating the admin details like we have created the page for updating the password now we are going to create the page for updating the admin details so let's take these steps let's start first of all we are going to create the get route for updating the details and here in web.php file i am going to add the get route for updating the details for making the page for updating the details okay so here i am going to mention display update admin details here uh, see okay so we are going to modify the edit details function and it's the name route with admin dot update hyphen details so we are going to create this edit details function in admin controller at the last we are going to create this function We will assign the update hyphen details value to its session page session uh, so that we can able to highlight the admin details at the left sidebar here we are going to add at the left sidebar here after update password we will uh, also add update details okay and that we are going to highlight whenever the admin is going to update its details okay so we are going to create the update details update uh, underscore details dot blade dot pp file it is the uh, at the same path where we have earlier created the update underscore password file so i'm going to update uh, go to open that update password dot blade dot pp file and i'm going to save this and here i'm going to make this name as update details update underscore details here i'm going to make it like update details and here so the details and we are going to modify its form okay uh, and we are going to update it to this form that i have already updated I have my own so going to replace this form with this one So here in this form, we have the email address that is read only for the admin and name as well as the mobile that the admin can able to update. So here we will also mention the action uh, for this route. This is the post route for updating the admin details. Admin dot update hyphen details dot request. Okay. So this uh, one we have updated and now I'm going to open the update hyphen details. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's not opening because we have not defined this route so far, okay, uh, in web.pt file. So we are going to add this route, this post route in web.pt file. After this, we are going to add this route as well. And we will also comment it like, update admin it is route okay and we are going to save it and now the form must appear let's see yes the form has been appeared now update details here email address is read only and name and mobile we can see the admin can able to update okay so now uh, we are going to uh, create the detail request for its validation okay like we have created the password request as well as the login request earlier on and for this also going to create this detail request with this artisan command one of my student is asking that if there is any artisan command for creating the services but unfortunately we don't have any such command okay so services we are required to create manually uh, but uh, we have the uh, artisan command for creating the request okay so we are going to create this detail request with the artisan command here i will right click on my project folder so more option open git bash here and here i'm going to run 
this artisan command for my project okay so this command has been run successfully and now we can see the detailed request must have been created yes it has been created so we are going to modify the detailed request with these rules and messages and uh, these are for uh, for validating the name as well as the mobile for the admin okay so i'm going to add these rules and messages here okay like this we're going to align it as well and also we will return the true to authorize this validation okay so after this uh, we are going to make sure that uh, you are required to include this detail request uh, at the admin at the top of the admin controller and here we are going to include it as well like we have included the login request and password request earlier okay so after this uh, uh, we are going to create this update details function at the admin service okay so that will actually uh, update the admin details okay so i'm going to open the admin service for all the logics for all such functions we have the admin service here uh, we are going to define this function to update the admin details okay uh, and okay so sorry this is uh, for updating in admin controller and uh, we must be having this function update details function uh, that we are having to update at admin service okay so this is the function that we are required to update at uh, admin service that will actually update the admin details okay so and this function we are going to call this function uh, here in admin controller so we are going to create the another function in admin controller in which we will call uh, already created function okay so here we are going to align it as well okay so here you can see that we have called that update details function that is in admin service that will actually update the name as well as the mobile based on uh, by comparing it with the admin email okay uh, so we are going to call this in update details okay that admin service uh, we are going to use it like this as we have already injected the admin service in constructor earlier okay so now uh, finally we will display the error and success message in update details uh, that we have already having as we have updated that password page only okay uh, so that it will make our task easy okay so the only form we have updated and now we are going to try updating the admin details let's see if we can able to update or not i'm going to try updating the name as well as the mobile and let's click on submit and yes we able to update here you can see that we finally able to update the name as well as the mobile for the admin and i'm going to up, want to update once again uh, okay i'm going to correct the name like this and okay so finally we able to update the admin details and you can do this at your end as well in the next part we are going to update the photo as well we will add one more field photo so that uh, the admin can able to update his photo as well okay uh, and that for that we are going to install the intervention packet as well and later on we will also add more fields into the admin but not right now uh, we will continue uh, with the other modules uh, for our admin panel okay so uh, stay tuned for further videos and please subscribe the stack developers youtube channel so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye